When I was in high school, there was a, a, a song that we all learned to sing, and the part of the song was, I'm proud to say that I belong to Carbondale, PA. Michael Delfino is still a cheerleader for the Pioneer City, as well as a champion for all of Northeastern Pennsylvania. Successful businessman and community benefactor, this energetic 95-year-old is looking for his next great idea. Not only does it keep him busy, it keeps him young. Mike was born in Carbondale in 1921, of parents who immigrated to the area from Calabria, Italy. The family of four girls and two boys led a typical middle-class life. From age six, Michael knew the meaning of earning a buck by working as a caddy and a pin center at a local bowling alley. He attended local public schools, graduating from Ben Franklin High, and was the only one in his family to further his education, attending Lackawanna Business College. Because of a lack of jobs in the area at the time, he went to work with his cousin in Connecticut to seek his fortune, but his love for Carbondale drew him back home. At 21, Michael went to serve his nation, spending four years in the Navy. After training at the Great Lakes Naval Station and the University of Chicago Radio School, he spent his tour of duty on merchant ships, making over 25 trips across the Atlantic to supply our troops. His love was always with his home city, so after his military discharge, he came back to Carbondale once again to make a life. Because of his radio operator's experience, Mike got a job with the D&H Railroad. His entrepreneurial spirit kicked in and he and a friend decided to go into the drive-in theater business. The ideal drive-in already existed and other prime locations were already in the works. So in 1953, Mike found a spot in Honesdale. And then we went to a bank to see if we can get some money and the banker said to us, you're two boys with big ideas, come back when you grow up. Now I'm 30 years old, and that's, a, that's, that's, can you imagine that statement, making that statement? They did eventually get that loan from another bank, and the Maple Drive-In was born. It was about that time that Mike met a girl who probably had more business experience than he did. Gwen Calibro's family owned various businesses in Carbondale, including a hotel, restaurant, gas station, grocery store, and the movie theater. A graduate of Marywood and a school teacher, Mike and Gwen's relationship was very interesting. And people ask me how I met my wife. I can't remember when I met her. I don't remember the first date we had. And the best part, we both gra we graduated together in the same class. And I never, I never knew, I just knew she was a class. I never paid attention. She never paid attention to me. And to this day, to this day, we still don't know how we got together. <laughs> they married in 1954. Gwen was a leading force in the operation of the drive-in, along with her nephew, and the Delfinos built the theater into a profitable business. Mike's need to keep growing kicked in again when the Circle Drive-In came up for sale in 1963. Built in the mid-40s, the Circle was one of the first businesses on the Scranton Carbondale Highway. Mike worked on the railroad and Gwen taught students during the day, and then Gwen would head to Honesdale and Mike to Dixon City to run the drive-ins at night. You know, I always make the statement that somebody says you drive a Cadillac, and I say, you could drive a Cadillac too. And they say, how can I? I say, where do you work? I work for Henrik Manufacturing Company, Carbondale. You do? Yeah. When do you work? Eight to four? Right. Now you get a job from 4 to 12, and the money you make 4 to 12, you buy the Cadillac. I said, but I've been doing that for 50 years. That's why I drive a Cadillac. Mike Delfino's need to keep it exciting has led to several other successful ideas, including the 1975 opening of the Circle Drive-In Flea Market. Every Sunday, hundreds of sellers and thousands of buyers gather in the area's largest swap meet. And more recently, the opening in 2012 of the Circle of Screams, the area's newest Halloween haunted attraction. The reason why I do this here because I want another birthday. <laughs> and the only way you have another birthday is you have something to do and something to think about and something to work and all that there, right? So that's what, that's what we did. Well, I used the word <laughs> perpetuity quite a bit. <laughs> and I keep telling everybody, you better get used to me because I'm gonna be here in perpetuity. <laughs> Mike shares his time and financial resources freely with the community. 
and the Delfinos have shown their commitment to such causes as St. Joseph's Center, Marywood University, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and the Greater Carbondale YMCA. Mr. Delfino's love for Carbondale and the area in general has made the Lackawanna Valley a better place in which to live. I'm very, very proud of the YMCA and what they have done in the city of Carbondale. I think it's been an asset not only for Carbondale, but it's been an asset for the whole community. Right? And I want to congratulate everybody the same as me who gave the, for, for this year to come to its uh, <coughs> fruition. And I wish to thank all of the people that gave a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. They're just as important as we are. And I want to thank them wholeheartedly for their contribution too.